So I talk in a previous video a little bit about what to expect when you come on board to CAM Investor Solutions, but I think it's also important to think about you know, investment philosophy and what that looks like. And I think you know, some people might even say, what is an investment philosophy? Um, you know, you really have to have a, a plan or a strategy for how you're going to move forward and pick and select investments. Uh, and what I think a lot of people, kind of like a myth that I want to, to bust uh, today is that we are not out there just uh, picking stocks and trying to, to outpick investment selections from other people. That's not the investment philosophy that we follow. Um, we feel like you really can't consistently outperform or outpick investments and beat the rest of the market. Uh, nobody, if you really can dive deep into the history of investment managers, portfolio managers, nobody has consistently done that over the course of 20, 30 plus years. There are times when they do really well and then there's times where they're lagging the rest of the market. So what we are looking for are efficiencies and how we can best um, take advantage of the performance of the market but then create it in a way where efficiencies are going to help us achieve that better performance over time. So you know, we feel like if we have a diversified portfolio across all different asset classes um, and, and various uh, you know, allocations or industries, then uh, that will provide diversification for us and to help avoid some of these you know, drastic um, kind of up and down volatility uh, fluctuations in the market. So as an example, um, if somebody really loved, uh, you know, a cruise line and said, well, I love cruises. I go on cruises all the time. Um, and I think this is a, you know, a lot of people are doing this and it's a great industry. So I'll invest in it. Um, if you only invest in that company, then obviously a situation like we're faced with, with right now with COVID-19, uh, that is going to be a problem because, um, that area in the market has gone down much further than everything else. Uh, and while it might be really cheap to buy their stock right now, we might be faced with uh, a period of time where those stocks are going to be underperforming the rest of the market. Now, I don't know that for sure, um, just like I don't know that for sure about any particular industry. But we can set up investment strategies um, and kind of balance out uh, so that we're not having to guess. Um, because there's so much information uh, out there. Trading is done you know, by computers and algorithms. A human is not going to outperform that. So we have to figure out how do we, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. So how do we best do that um, to help our clients capture the best performance and really to manage for risk so that we're not sort of all over the place with these huge swings uh, in volatility in their portfolio. So our, you know, we always ask ourselves or our clients, are you getting paid for the risk that you're taking? If you're seeing uh, huge swings in volatility in your portfolio, is that still going to allow you to get the kind of return that you need in the long run? Or is that huge drop going to prevent you from seeing some of those incremental moves upward um, and to, to accomplish your goals eventually? So those are definitely, you know, I would say that's a big component of our investment philosophy. It goes deeper than that. We certainly can dive a little bit more into how we make investment selections, what that might be um, for, you know, investment products or what companies that we choose. We can cover that in another video. But ultimately, we're trying to manage for risk and uh, we're trying to do it in a, uh, in a way that we're balancing, um, you know, investment solutions or uh, exposure to different areas um, to protect our clients as best as possible.